Hi, it's Dan from Create Music, and this is just a quick video on how to download, install, and use Zoom for our video lessons. In a moment, you'll see my screen on my computer, which will show you exactly firsthand how to install and run it. Just a quick note though, you need to make sure that you sign up with the email address that we have on our account for you. So whichever email address you normally get emails from Create Music, that's the address that you need to use to sign up to Zoom with. This just means that we can add you easily as a contact and we can get going with the lessons without any disruptions. Just a couple of things before we start. Zoom is really easy to use as you'll see in this video, but you really don't need to worry about any of the features. Your child will be invited to the lessons. All you need to do is make sure that they're online and available five minutes before the lesson so that they're prepared for the lesson on time. Any files and practice information as well as the play along videos and lesson recaps will be sent to your child via the chat screen. This can still be accessed even when they're not in the meeting. So this can be looked at whenever. You can use the chat to query anything about the song as well. So if you want to ask a question about a certain bit or you don't quite know how to best help your child, you can send us a message at any time via the chat. To access the Zoom website, simply search Zoom on Google or type zoom.us into the address bar. Here you can click the sign up button and type your email address that you'd like to sign up with. Once you press the sign up button, you'll be sent a confirmation link by email, which you can then follow through to complete your account details, such as password and name. You can do this through your laptop or any other device, although we do recommend at least a tablet. A phone screen is far too small to have a sufficient lesson. Once you follow that link, you'll be brought to your account page, which will show you your name and your personal meeting ID, as well as the email address that you signed up with. You don't need to worry about remembering any of these things apart from your login details. Scroll to the bottom of the page where it says download and click meetings client. You'll see here it says zoom client for meetings. This is what we need to download to be able to run the app. It is a perfectly safe website and a perfectly safe thing to download. It's a resource that's trusted by many schools and teachers. The zoom installer will be saved to your downloads of your web browser. We can click that to install the program. Once the program has installed, it will save a shortcut to your desktop and your start menu, and you'll be able to use this app to access meetings. Make sure you're logged in and the app is open five minutes before your lesson at least for you to receive the invitation on time. To get you set up to use Zoom, you'll receive a contact request from us. This will look like this. You can see it's opened up in my chat menu. If I click on this, I can accept the contact request. Now I'm added in the contacts. When your teacher has added you as a contact and you've accepted, they'll be able to invite you to a chat. This is how we start the meetings. A meeting invite will look like this. You can accept the invitation. You'll see a small video preview and then you'll be asked to join with computer audio. And now you're in the meeting. Make sure your guitar is perfectly visible and that you can see everyone in the meeting clearly. We recommend putting your screen in full screen mode so you can see a lot better. In the top right corner, it says speaker view or gallery view. You can toggle between these, but gallery view is recommended because then you'll be able to see everybody in the meeting. When speaker view is selected, that means that only the person who's speaking will be in the center of the screen. That can be thrown off when multiple people are talking or playing guitar at the same time. Throughout the meeting, you'll see controls at the bottom of the screen. The one that you may use is mute. That would stop your microphone from making a sound. Make sure that you do take this off when your teacher tells you to though. If you click participants, you can see the participants on the screen. The share screen button will be mainly used by your teacher. They might share their screen so you can see the music while you're practicing. You can use the record button to record your meetings if you'd like, although all meetings will be recorded by the teacher anyway for safeguarding purposes. To leave the meeting, simply click leave meeting. Your teacher will be able to chat with you to send you the relevant links for your practice materials in between lessons. These will show up like a notification like this. We can open this by clicking on chat. And you'll see the important practice stuff within the chat. If you'd like to, you can star this message, which is like favorite in it. This will then show up in your starred messages. You can also do this on iPhone or iPad by holding down on the message. The option star message will then come up. 
You can access your important practice materials at any time by going into your messages and the conversation with your teacher or your starred messages if you starred that message. So an overview of the controls. On the home screen, you've got the new meeting, join, schedule and share screen. Really, we don't need to use any of these things. All of your invites will come via the chat. When you click on contacts, you'll be able to see who you have added as a contact. But otherwise, everything will be done for you.